we're first going to play through the first two lines of Symphony Number no. 1, Johannes Brahms' excerpt. This is the very beginning of the entire symphony. We're going to set a metronome to 92, and first we're going to play to up to speed. A few notes to keep in mind. The composer writes un poco sostenuto, a little sustained. At the bottom we have forte, which means strong and loud, espressivo y legato, expressive and legato. How do we play expressive and legato? Make sure you use vibrato, make sure you use lots of changes of your bow speed, and very connected. So as you change all of these bowings, try to make big long phrases and make sure you sustain your sound when you change the bow. The metronome is set at 92, we're going to play through in performance speed. Next, let's talk about what makes this excerpt especially challenging. Bow control comes to mind as probably one of the most challenging things here, as you have to sustain loud, expressive, and legato sound for long periods of time with very slow bow. Make sure you manage your sound formula of bow pressure, bow speed, and bow distance, and try to just make sure that you're not overpressing with bow pressure and that you're aware of how much bow you have left for the amount of time. Most of the bows are going to be about 5 eighths notes long, with some a little bit shorter, some a little bit longer, but you'll notice that the majority of the bows are really about 4 to 5 um, eighth notes long, so keep that in mind. The bow speed should be pretty much consistent. Let's talk about intonation and notes. We start in fifth position, okay? So our first fingers on the, uh, our pointer is on the fifth note that is played with the finger, so E, F, G, A, this is third. B flat, C, this is fifth. A is third, B flat is fourth, C is fifth. We start in fifth position with a pointer on C. Make sure your half steps are nice and small. D, make sure the D is matching open G, open D, excuse me, that there's forced vibration. There's a ring, half step shift. G, All right, so we have C, Half step, half step, half step, whole step, whole step. Make sure the G is matching up on G. A flat half step shift, a natural, and then B flat half step. So those are all half steps. Then we have a whole step, half step shift. This is an octave. Right? If we're in G, we're in sixth position. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So four octave, roll the one over, do not pick it up, it's the same note, same pinky. So you'll notice that your pinky in one for that section is the same. And then whole step to F, we have a whole step shift to E flat, again octave, but now it's a whole step to octave, whole step from the one to the two, step and a half to E flat, half step to a D, whole step shift again, and again, octave, half step now between one and two, whole step to three, again, one, one, three, low two, half step from the one, first position, half step shift, A flat, two whole step to C, back to first position, half step, F sharp, two over G natural, open E, F sharp, roll the one from the E to the A string, place the two in the E string, Make sure that the low two is matching open G and you do two and two at the frog. Because this is not fast tempo, the first two lines, the chord cannot be, the chord needs to match the mood of the piece, which is gonna be more legato. All right, so nice and smooth transition. The next step I would do is once you know your whole steps and half steps and what the changes are, I will practice the shifts alone. So start with C. So just practice those half steps, D to E flat. So this is fifth 
position, fifth to seventh, right? So G, D, E flat, E, then G. This is now the third measure, G, A flat, half step shift. Then A natural, half step, B flat, half step, switch to whole step. Now, this is one, two, three, four. Transition from fourth to fifth measure. The notes are A flat to G, it's a half step shift. Keep your fingers down. Because this is pretty uncomfortable, your hand is gonna tend to overshift and go down to a more relaxed, more comfortable position. Make sure your hand to keep up there. So this is our A flat with the three. A flat, G. Next shift, F. So this is now the beginning of second line. F, E flat, E. Whole step shift again. Next, we have again a whole step shift. This is now the second measure of second line, D to C. Okay, again, octave. A flat, make sure it's a low two. Right. And then we have open E, that's when we shift to first, low one, and then F to A flat, step and a half shift. Okay, and then just make sure you do a half step to F sharp, and then roll the one over. All right, so that is the first two lines. Next, we have the Allegro part. Dotted quarter note, approximately 104. So we're gonna set to 104. So we're in the same key with three flats. It's a C minor or E flat major, depending on where you are in the symphony. This is measure 161. Uh, rehearsal E, depending on which score you follow. If you want to look up the score, it's available on imslp.org. You type in Symphony One Brahms. Scroll down to where it says parts. Click on parts and you can see different, different editions. So if you want to look up the entire Symphony score you can, but this is measure 161 of the first movement. If you listen to most recordings, it's going to be about 5 minutes and 50 seconds in. Performance speed, second section of Brahms' symphony requirement. we're going to explain and go through it slowly. This is tricky because it's much faster, but also I have a lot of changes in your left finger, fingers between strings and positions. So we'll start in third position with the low four and the one that's gonna be squeezed on the E string, so slowly. So we have a half step, whole step, half step that squeeze, back to low four, same note. We're gonna roll the two over, same four three. Squeeze your three to a low three, a C flat. Now A flat, low one, same three. Move your one up to D natural, low four, low two, low one. So you'll notice that your one moved from low on E string to a regular one on A string and then a low one on D. And that's the tricky part there. So starting from the C flat, low one, regular one, low one. Regular three now, the three moves up the half step with open A. Regular one in third position, low four, low two, use the one to find your low two, same four. Apologies, from open A and three on E. Regular one now, low four, low two, regular four, high two, high one. I would not recommend moving the two, I would move the one. So that part again from the C natural and open A. Regular one, low four, low two. Regular four, stretch a little bit. High two, switch your two from low to high. Low, high one. Third position, octave D. Low three, low one. Regular three. Regular one, low four, low three. So this is tricky because you got C flat, which is a low three and then a regular low three in the A string. So C flat is a B natural, and then F natural is a half step up. So you'll notice that low three, low one, was gonna feel like a high three because it's two whole steps apart. Regular one, move up, one up, low four. 
Now this is probably the toughest shift in this piece because you have to go from third position to six from A to E string. So I would practice that shift from B flat to G flat. Keep your fingers down. So this is six because we have, if we count down, G flat, F, E flat, D. So D is sixth position. So we have And then 42 is a step and a half, third position, right? It's an octave apart, octave lower, same note, regular one, half step. Now your one is gonna move, so we're on the third line. You'll notice that the one is moving from regular on A to low on E. Whole step, low three, low two, you can see I'm squeezing, low four, regular one now. Now, the next part, instead of staying in first position and stretching, it's the same pattern, and if you move it up a whole step to fourth position, you can copy and paste your finger in pattern. So if you watch, I'm moving up a whole step. Different notes, exactly the same pattern and distance between the notes. So watch again. And that's symphony number one, the beginning, and measure 161 excerpt for Coda Honor Symphony and Allstate Orchestra, Violin Repertoire.